The next fly we're going to tie is called an X caddis, and it was invented by a couple of guys out in the Yellowstone area. Uh, Craig Matthews is one of them, and it's meant to give it that kind of shuck look on it. But it's a basic caddis with a shuck on the back. So this is a size 14 dry fly hook. I just put some olive thread on it, and the first thing we're going to put on is the shuck. And what we normally use is antron something like that, uh, Antron yarn, and what I did was just cut a section off of it, and then I'm going to take this and try to divide it in half, because we don't really need all of that material back there. And now I've got enough material for shucks for probably at least three if not four flies, okay? So I've laid my thread down, and I'm just going to bring this into a pinch wrap. Bring my thread back to where I want it. A little bit scraggly, so we'll even it up. And I'm going to bring it back to the bend of the hook, something like that. Okay? There's no feather with this fly. This fly sits low in the water, so there's no hackle to put on. So the next thing we're going to do is choose our body color for dry fly dubbing. So we're going to get about the same amount of dubbing we did when we did the caddis fly a few minutes ago. Something about like that. And we'll dub that on. So, so I folded this. And we'll bring the dubbing up by the body. And now we'll wrap the body. And we want to tie in the tail, it doesn't say for the length, it doesn't say anything. So, uh, looking at that tail, I'd say make it half. Again, so stopping about the quarter mark okay. on the hook, quarter mark from the eye. Half the hook. And we'll secure that down so it's holding pretty well. Okay. Okay, I'm going to redo that. I don't like the shape of it. body a little more uniform. And in order to help promote like a uh, even underbody. Okay, so I have a slight um, build up to it and that's fine. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get my deer hair. To make my wing and head. I'm gonna use about the same amount of deer hair that we had last time for the caddis. Cleaned it all up. Put it in my stacker points first. Give it a good stack. And bring it out the way I'm going to tie it off. Just going to work with it. And again, I'm probably going to go back about the end of the body, roughly. Grab onto that hook with, with both. Uh, index and thumb on your so, left hand, right. uh, bring a loop of, of, of uh, pin trap around, pin trap twice, snug it up a little bit. Then you can see if the wing's too big or too small, you can back it off and adjust it. Do a couple in the front to help secure it, come right back to that tie-in point again. Okay. I'm going to grab the butt ends, go down by the hook eye, do my 45 degree cut. If you miss a few, trim them off. Or if they spin on you a little bit, just go in and take care of them. Make sure your eyes open. Now we're going to whip finish it. You can get sure. now, if you want to, you can put a little uh, a little piece of Antron yarn up on this on the wing on top if you want, or a small CDC feather, something if you want to see it in the water a little better. That's fine. Yeah, it's And I'm going to cut this shuck off. Oh, about the body length, roughly.
Okay, and then I'm going to take and glue all the way around and get my uh, thread all glued in. Make sure your eyes open, clean it out if it doesn't. And that is a basic X caddis. Um, basically, it's, it's very dense and really soft, it traps air. Um, rabbit, on the other hand, okay. um, heavy, dense, that's Let's go tie one. Here.